It's Wade Lee from Fashion Faces TV, and I am with Mexico's next top model judge, Joe Lance. How are you doing this evening? Great. So happy to be in Arizona. And we loved watching you in the Celebrity um, Pink show. It was great to see you. That was your own design? Uh, yes. The shirt is actually was made by Mabel Chic and the whole suit was by me. Same thing, the jacket that I'm wearing is by me, Jolan's Designs, but I do have to credit the pieces by Fufu Shot and all the crystals are by my sponsor, Sorosky, Sorosky Elements. Awesome, awesome. Where can people find more information about you? Um, I have the fan page on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter, on Jolan's Photo, which everything could be found there. Uh, I haven't really like done my website for Jolan's Designs because I do have an obsessive personality <laughs> and everything. I'd rather sometimes, you know, just wait and I've been promoting myself through the TV show like a lot of the pieces that I wear in the TV show and a lot of the hats were made by me and I've been getting so many people say where can I buy them what can I get them so I'd rather just build up the hype you know build up the hype and have more and more people wanting your pieces so by the time I am ready at least you know they've seen them they've been in the media and then you know we'll be able to go and right. find awesome it. how did you get involved with Mexico's next top model uh, Okay, I've been living in Mex well, actually, in New York for 25 years. Uh, and it was really interesting because I lived in Mexico City like 25 years ago, shows how old I am. <laughs> and I was there for maybe like for three years because I'm a fashion photographer. And I w I've always been the guy, like, you know, when I was in Mexico City, at the time, I was the only Latin person that had fluorescent green hair, red hair, I had purple mohawks and back in the day not even any celebrity had that type of hair we're talking 25 years ago because you know it's a very conservative Latin country and when they were gonna do the TV show I actually, I'm actually friends with a supermodel Elsa Benitez before she even became a supermodel so it was really interesting that everybody that got ca casted was like the top agency all the top people in the industry which I knew like 25 years ago actually were as judges and they kept on looking for a character that was wild and it was crazy and one of my co-hosts she said oh I have the guy and it was interesting because the producer kept on telling him like well why him she's like trust me once you see him you're gonna want him and but they wanted someone from Mexico you know and they kept on saying is he Latin it's like yes he's Latin but he lives in New York he's a Mexican and they kept on saying well are you sure you know he's a Mexican I'm like yes he's the Mexican and then day one and it was interesting because I felt I feel they tortured me in case they see this um, first casting I went there I was myself I was dressed really loud and then when they saw me now of course once I got the show they were like oh we knew day one we saw you of, of all the people that were unsure of the judges but when they saw me day one they're like that's him he's definitely gonna play like the wild character and we had to go actually through five different castings each time keep on like callbacks and every time I just showed up louder and crazier <laughs> and it was really interesting because like all my friends on the TV show or even the people that did not get on the show we were all like waiting in line or for the casting and they would always say things like Oh, he's in. Like, right. you know, but of course your nerves are killing you because you're wondering, did I get it? Did I get it? Am I on the TV show? And everyone would look at me like, for sure, you're in. You're in. And I was like, well, how do you know? They're like, well, look at you. You're so different. And sure enough, you know, like months later, you know, I got the show and it's great, you know, because we're the only Latin show. We're in 28 Latin countries and it's going to be going to Brazil and Spain. And it's great because as a Latin person, we come from a very conservative culture. And, and I, I just got named like the monster fashionista of Latin America about a month ago. People compare me to Lady Gaga, which is kind of frustrating because I could be her grandfather. What I've been doing this before Lady Gaga, <laughs> but anyways. What about Patrick McDonald? You get you get that a little bit? He, you know what's so funny? He's a very good friend of mine. Yeah. He's, Patrick's such a good friend of mine. I think it's just the eyebrow on the hat. <laughs> Do you know who he is? You, um, well, I met him at um, Mercedes-Benz yeah. Fashion Week um, in so February. Sweet. He's a really great, great guy, yeah. Do you know a little secret? Do you know who his mom is? No. Gillingan's Island. Remember Gillingan's Island? Yes. The superstar Ginger. That's Josh. His mom. This is exclusive. That is amazing. I had yeah. no clue. Yeah, he's so nice. He's so yeah. sweet. I love him. You know, being in New York after a while, we're all like the same people. We'll go to the same party, the same right, event. Right, right. So yeah, Patrick is so sweet. I love him. That's cool. Yeah, we both have that eyebrow and the mole <laughs> and the hat. You right. know? 
That's cool. Love her. Well, thank you so much, Jolance. So I much. really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And that is for Fashion Faces TV. This has been a production of The House of Wade Lee TV.